Hi everybody, I'm Casey Chisholm Miller, owner and artist at Yaya Made Galveston. Running a tad bit late today, I apologize. And I have a cute little project for you today. It's one you've probably seen before, but I found a shortcut to make it faster, more fun, less tedious. So, let me show you what we're gonna do today. We're going, pardon me. <laughs> we're going to make a jean skirt. We use the top of the jeans and then we add a skirt. Now I have made a couple of these before and uh, this was a dress, and I used the bottom of the skirt on the dress, and I gathered um, it here so it would have some play. Now this one I did not have to gather because it was cut on the bias. So with the bias, I had plenty of play. And this is another one. And if you see a theme here, there is, and I'm gonna show you what the shortcut is. The shortcut to keep you from having to do the gathering part, that's the tedious part for me. Um, not just the gathering, the gathering itself goes pretty quickly. It's the getting it on the skirt. Hi, Patricia. Getting the gathered piece onto the jean top, uh, lining it up and get your gathers just so. And so I find that tedious. So I found a way to get around that. And it is these little tiered skirts. I had a little tiered skirt. I've already cut off what I'm gonna use. And I'll show you when I cut it off, I cut off above where it was gathered on that tier. So now I don't have to gather. It's already gathered. All I have to do is sew it on. How fast can that be? <laughs> well, if you're like me, it'll be not real fast because I'm a slow sewer, sewist. But that's okay. I get the job done. Slow and steady, whatever the saying is. So I'm gonna show you how we get to here and let's do this. I'm gonna turn you so you can see the work table. Now, you'll need a pair of jeans that fit your waist. They don't necessarily have to fit the rest of you. So I have a pair of jeans that fit my waist and they don't fit enough that I wanna wear them. So I'm putting them on my work table, and when you put your table down, um, when you put your table down, <laughs> okay, I'm looking at the screen to see who's watching, and I, I'm not a multitasker, sorry. Uh, anyway, you put your jeans down, and I have a, one of those work surfaces that have the inches on it. And so I've lined up my waistband so it lines up on this line. And you'll notice the front of your waistband will be lower. And that's okay, you want that. And then I'm just going to smooth these out because I'm gonna be cutting them. Now, before I start cutting, I want to get my pockets out of the way because I want to save my pockets. I like having pockets. So pull your pockets out so you won't cut them off. You could repair them later, but why take another step? So I've got these. I want it to be smooth. I can feel the back pocket, that's okay, but no wrinkles. Okay, I've got it smoothed out. I have it lined up here. I have my 
ruler and I'm going to place my ruler right below where the seam starts to curve for the crotch part of the jeans. I don't want the curvy part. I want to stop it before then. So I want to cut it before the curve. And so I'm just lining up my ruler and then I have my chalk. You can use chalk or you can use slivers of soap. And I'm going to mark across there. It's even according to my ruler. Now I'm gonna cut on my chalk line. So I got the heavy duty scissors out here. <laughs> And I'm going to cut on the chalk line. And this is really thick right here. So I'm a two-handed, <laughs> two-handed. When you're older, you're, you're, uh, I got a wrinkle there. Your hands aren't as strong. So I have to use two hands. <laughs> but that's okay. Do whatever you need to do. Alrighty. Now I'm going to put this away because that'll be a purse or a bag or something later on down the line. And this is what I've got. I'll tuck this in so you can get a good look at it. This is what you've got. Now, I'm going to pull that pocket out again, and I'm going to clip mine out of the way. I don't want it sneaking back in the way and getting pinned and sewn up with the rest of it when I start putting that skirt on. So I'm just going to, you can use pins. You can use clips, whatever's easiest. I'm using clips, hoping that I can prevent sticking myself, because <laughs> I frequently do that. And then I say ugly things. So that's clipped out of the way, and we're ready. Now, I had the skirt, and I have already decided that I needed three tiers because I like my skirt a little bit longer since I'm not 24 anymore. And I'm going to pin it right sides together. So the right side of the waist of the skirt to the right side of the jeans. So let me just tuck my jeans in there. And what I did was I measured my weight, uh, I measured the bottom of this, measured the bottom of this and measured out as much as I needed plus seam allowance. And then I seamed it together. And I'm fixing to, <laughs> fixing to do it wrong. Need the right side against my jeans. Okay. Where's my seam? I used my serger and seamed my seam together. So measure the bottom of your jean. Measure your skirt at the gathered and then seam it up on the sides. I bet I turn this, I do this every time. I t turn it right side and I said, no, that's not right. No, that's not right. <laughs> oh God, there we go. <laughs> 
Okay. Now we got it. Now it's going to be right sides together. Now I have my seam on the side. My, my skirt seam on the side. You don't have to. You can put it in the back or uh, I put it on the side just because I did. And then I'm going to just pin this skirt to the um, jean top. And then we're going to take it to the sewing machine. Now, the reason I was making these, I have a confession. You know, I make handbags and sell them, but I don't carry a handbag all the time. I wear jeans or capris or whatever that have pockets front and back. And everything that I need, I can carry in my pockets. So, if I want to wear a skirt, I figured, oh, well, okay. Um, I'll just make one of those jean skirts. <laughs> and then I'll have all my pockets. And it works out. And... Uh, I kind of wondered if maybe I was a little young, a little young, was a little too old for this style, but I'm not wearing it short, so, and I'm at the age now that I don't care what people think. I'm just going to wear what I like, and it's hot here in Galveston, so I, uh, Dress cool, and this is cool. So, we've got her pinned up. And then all we have to do is, I had a little extra jean fabric here. So I didn't measure too great, did I? Well, I'm just going to ease that in. We all know about easing. I'll ease that in so it won't all be in one place, the extra. And it is a stretched denim. So we're good. Now, we're going to take this to the sewing machine. And the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, this is a commercially made skirt. So it's got uh, surged edges. And then it's got two other lines of seaming. So I'm going to use this last seam line as my guide. And I'm going to seam along that line. And that way, the thread won't be showing through. So let's go sew this and then see how we do. Okay, let me see. Can you see? Let me move you over just a tad. Now we got another glitch in the tape. Okie dokie. Now I usually start at a side seam and I'm going to sew with the ruffle on top. So I don't have a free arm, and to do that, I turn it inside out again. So my ruffle will be on top while I'm sewing in the round. And that way I can manipulate everything more easily. I've got my pockets pinned out of the way. And I'm looking for a side seam because I like to start at a side seam. 
Now your seams on your jeans are gonna be a little thick. And if you've got a standard sewing machine, you're gonna have to be careful going over those thick parts and just go slowly. Okay, where's that seam? There it is. So see, this is a big flat filled seam and it's gonna be a little thicker. But I've got the ruffle part on top and I'm just going to sew more slowly over that. Hold your breath and hope I don't run out of bobbin. <laughs> I didn't wind a new bobbin, so that would be kind of a whole Murphy's Law thing. But you'll get the main idea. Okay, I'm sewing on that bottom line. stitching I'm using that as my guide and uh, you know when I'm on this side of this sewing machine it is so quiet when it sews however I notice on my videos that it sounds really, really loud, which I find kind of interesting. I guess that microphone is way more sensitive than my ears. Of course, my ears are a lot older than that microphone. So, do you think that could have something to do with it? <laughs> My ears are old. And my friend Ruth tells me that uh, it's time for me to go see the hearing aid people. <laughs> I don't have trouble hearing all the time. It seems to be just certain tones. People that are in a certain octave, I guess. Okay, this seems to be going on forever. because I'm slow, <laughs> but that's okay. I have stopped worrying about that because what's the point? Okay, we're just about to the end. Almost there, almost there. And you notice that I use my tweezers a lot um, to position my fabric. And if I had gathered it myself, I would use this to help the gathers be more uniform. These tweezers, some people use a uh, little stick or wood stick or plastic stick. I use my tweezers. Okay. Um, and it helps manipulate the fabric the way you need it to go. All right, we've got her sewed up. Let's see if we were successful. <laughs> 
and didn't sew anything together we didn't mean to. And we didn't run out of bobbin, yay! <laughs> okay, she's together. Let's undo our pocket clips. and fix our pockets and stick you back up here so you can see everything. And voila, we have a skirt. And it's gonna be cool for the summer. Your important part is covered with the denim and if your legs shine through the thin, gauzy fabric, that's okay. If you wore shorts, your legs would show. Uh, so anyway, that's how I sped up the process of making these little skirts, is by using these tiered, gathered skirts where each tier is gathered. And as I showed you before, I'm going to show you again. When I cut, I'll show you on the wrong side. When I cut the top tier off, I cut right there, because it's got plenty of seam allowance. I cut at the top of that uh, seam. I cut at the top of that seam, and then that gives me plenty of seam allowance to use on the jeans. So there you have it. You can make your own now. I hope you enjoyed it. I do want to give you an update. I have said several times that I didn't do bias binding. <laughs> I've just not been successful, but I was determined that I was going to do it. And look, look, I'm so excited. Now, my neck <laughs> binding is wider than my arm binding. And I'm not quite sure how that happened because I had the same, hi Kai, I had the same width binding, so I'm not exactly sure what I did. But anyway, the neck binding being wider than the arm binding is, is fine with me. But anyway, the, <laughs> the amount of <laughs> steps that I went through to get this on you quilters would think was pretty funny, but I got it on. And I'm real excited that I was able to, and I'm gonna keep practicing. I'm trying new things all the time. Hi, Teresa, Miss Julie. Um, I'm, I'm trying new things. I'm learning how to draft patterns, and I'm having a good time because I can't go anywhere with the COVID search. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, that's our project for today. Thank you for watching. I hope it is something that you'll want to try. And I will ask you again, please, if you have not already, like and share and comment on this video. Follow my Facebook page. Follow me on YouTube. Subscribe to me on YouTube. It's all Yaya Made Galveston. Check out my uh, Etsy store, yayamadegalveston.etsy.com. I'm working on uh, some new bags. So pro probably next week I'll be adding new bags. And these are a little different. I'm kind of excited about them. And um, you might see something you can't live without and tell your friends. Thank you so much. When you make your skirt, post a picture for me. I want to see. Thank you. See you next week.